basketball goes international. Fans here in London lined up four hours ahead of tip-off to see one of the most highly anticipated games of the summer. It's the overseas debut of Bronny James, a rising senior, and his younger brother Bryce. Their last name precedes them on the court. It's game one of a European whirlwind tour. Bronny James had a phenomenal summer circuit. He's fundamentally sound, a high basketball IQ, a good decision maker versus a risk taker. He's made 38% of his spot up threes according to Synergy Sports. He can influence the game also without scoring. He's a great teammate. The next step for Bronny is his leadership abilities. And that goes along with his multitudinous talents on the court. And watch Bronny, the basketball IQ, the ability to make the setup cut, utilize the screen, and as I mentioned, 38% on the catch and shoot. He makes it wet from deep. A willing defender with good lateral quickness. Takes, taking charges on his own man. But this is what he needs to do more of. Find the open pocket of space. Get in tied to the mid-range game. Utilize the pull-up jump shot. As the air ball is put up there by Quinn Ellis. CBC on the run. Under the bucket, the finish is good on the reverse lay-in from Jimmy Olatiku. Group that has not played together very much. Bell on the drive, finds his way to the left side of the bucket and puts it in. Hoops fit. No good for Sultan Adewale, who plays at Newman Garetti High School in Philadelphia. James drives, he's fouled and finishes. Pull it out get into a quick set play. There's not motion offense being run here with 24 seconds. There's no time. <laughs> Bell, smooth, floats it in. And you got to really push the ball with speed in the backcourt to throw it ahead. Ronnie, into the lane, scoops, and delivers two more. Bell from the corner, had the shot if he wanted it. Draws multiple defenders, kick out Ben Brown. Rattles it home, that's a three-pointer. Have the willingness to make it happen. As you can see, it provides a very entertaining game. Contact at the rim, the finish by Sultan Adewale. Ashton Hardaway denied. CBC's got to go up stronger, pump fake it at the rim. Quinn Ellis for three. Hoops fixed by four. Some poise right now. Ronnie James curling, misses the shot off the inbounds. And strength on the left block to put it. Chua falls to the deck, collects two points as he hits the floor. Advantage over Hoops Fix, a team that has been together just this week. Aladakun with a spin to the basket, and he goes right through the chest. Now Brandon Chua for the layup. But so he hasn't got a lot of game time. This is great for him to improve and grow. Ellis, even with a hand in his face from Pippen, knocks down the free throw line jet. Christian Hardaway getting his first minutes this evening. Pippen's cross lane pass intercepted. CBC takes it right back. And after a near giveaway, that's two points at the rim for the California Basketball Club. Sprints back and he gets the block. Multiple efforts by the big fella. Not only the height at 6'10", but the agility as well. And a seven-foot wingspan to go with it. Close out on the reserve point guard on Hoops Fix. Cofield contested! Fades to the floor and scores! Beautiful one-on-one -on -one move by Price Cofield. Found a little bit of space, had the confidence, mid-range turnaround. Not a pretty looking three-point try there from Adewale, but good nevertheless. All the way to the basket, nobody gets in front of Majuk Chol. Matoyer. On the drive, no, but Jokchol, who finished the first quarter with a drive to the basket, gets hand on that. Wow, and CBC ready to strip it away. Chol doing a bit of everything. Now that Hardaway way, now leaving the break. Mike, that, excuse me, that was great recovery by Chol. Then he stripped it for the steal on the ground in the hustle play. For Matoyer, that's a three. The time change, the practices. 
Ronnie James inside the three-point arc. Beats the shot clock. It was under 10 seconds. And that's what I want to see. Speedy inbounds. Brown misses. James pushes. Matoyer lines up. A wide open three is good. They had the crowd behind them. They made a few threes. I think CBC just settled down, but they've played with some great, great energy level. They haven't been great defensively, but they played with good energy. And they bounce back. Second tier of pro hoops. It's a wide range of skill and age on this roster. The steal by Bell and a two-handed finish gets the crowd on its feet at the Copper Box Arena. And when that happens, we can't have 94 feet here overseas. We got 91 feet 10 inches. Count the bucket on the drive by Latrell Davis. And it's great because nobody on this court knows each other. <laughs> the drive. Oh! Regard for the opposition. Taken away. Here comes CBC again. It's Bronny through two defenders. Left block. Loose ball belongs to Olatakun, who's got seven. And CBC. And CBC is on the run again. Bronny gets two. In transition. They're just finding each other. But I love it. Bell goes to work, drives on Chol, and a soft touch makes it 37-20 in favor of CBC. You know, Bell has great size. He's about 6'8", long and athletic, quick for a step. He can beat a lot of bigs off the bounce. That's his advantage in this game against Chol. When Matoyer has had space, and there wasn't even a lot there, but there wasn't a hand to contest the shot, he's made the other team pick. I'm telling not a lot happening in the early moments of this possession. They've used two-thirds of the shot clock, haven't gotten inside the three-point arc. Davis drives, scores. Some still at the high school age, some who have already been playing at the professional level for a few years. And it's quickly down the floor. That's been a theme. Brandon Chua has got four. Michael Bell, leading scorer for Hoops Mix, has eight. He brings it down the floor ahead for Ellis. A textbook lay in on the run. All the turnovers by harping on it for the better part of a decade now together. And I think, you know, I think <laughs> I, I love that the United States is finally gonna allow it in their high school game. <laughs> Out of the timeout, it's a zone defense look here from Hoops Fix. They made the right move, CBC. They put BC along with Dylan Matoyer, who's also got nine. Long two and a tumble to the floor. It's 44-42. Quick answer. It's Hardaway. Didn't find his stroke in college, but it wouldn't last very long. You know that. <laughs> Don't forget, Jed Howard played for his dad. Juwan Howard. Ottawale to Bell. Good creator. Scores with ease, getting some room. That's a strong take there from Sultan Adewale, who's got several high major offers. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Paul. It's, uh, it's a, been a pleasure of mine for now more than half a decade to call you my partner. Thank you, Mike. 21,900 days across seas and down to the Caribbean or sometimes to Canada to play. So when the game can take you to different countries and continents, it's special. Need the long arms of Majuk Chol turn him away. Hardaway has hit from three and drives quite efficiently there. The confidence, put it up right away. That was a little bit nonchalant. Here comes some fast break action down the floor. Bryce Cofield rises to the occasion. Ten feet and an inch, and the crowd wanted more. They're hungry for dunks. A beautiful drive and distribution. Davis gets two and the foul on Hardaway. Miss with the drive and the unexpected pass to Ottawa. He didn't see it coming. CBC gets down the floor in a hurry. A couple of wild attempts. And from the left block, no. That one does go for Olatakun. Quicker. It's a drive and a finish. Brandon Chua.
home when you look left, right, left, across the street. Fast break opportunity. And a hammer with the right hand. Inside 20 seconds. Gaining a great deal of high-level experience here over the course of this trip. The pass out to Davis. The look from three, and he cashes it in. That's all the Italian heritage. Hoops fix takeaway. There's the dunk for Quinn Ellis. Tennessee, get ready for Julian Phillips because he is a 6'8", loaded with upside guy. Off the inbounds, bucket is good for Ben Brown. Of course, other programs to step up their recruiting. Unfortunately, some coaches have to go. Chua ahead of the field with the flush. And other coaches have stepped <laughs> from the best that's ever played the game. Ellis, a gorgeous pass, sets up the three for Bell, who's the game's leading scorer now with 18. Rim and nothing more for Brown. Yeah, Chole just needs to play with some balance and a little bit lower in his stance on the offensive end. He'll be able to finish those close-in baskets. Drop step leads to an easy two. His fellow class of 2025 member. So a little bit of a younger look in the five on the floor here for CBC with 225 to play. Chol gets it, fakes it, scores it. He has really impressed today. Um, as well, the rising senior at the guard position for California Basketball Club. Jaden Alexander with a pleasant floating path to the basket. Just running a little simple ball screen continuity. Keep it simple. James to the rim and off glass. It's 76 72, a minute 14 to go. 0 for 2 at the stripe. Kane on the putback drive, missed it. Fast break, foul, and the bucket is Quinn Ellis. Put the accelerator to the floor and delivered. All learning experiences that will make this, this group better when they play in Paris on August 15th on ESPN2. Professional basketball in Italy and France, and you can see why. And three triple-digit scores today as well for CBC, led by Jimmy Alatakun with 12. Bronny James had 11, and Majuk Chol 11 as well in an 81-74 game that belongs to Hoops Fix Elite. Really impressed with Bryce Cofield, we didn't mention him enough. He had that sensational Sports Center top 10 dunk. He gave them some strong points. I thought he was a catalyst in many ways. You know, Bronny had a really solid game. Majuk Chole as well, I thought defensively was outstanding. For a team that's only had a few practices in a shoot around, they were impressive tonight, even in a loss.